This is a patient who comes in with right lower quadrant pain and gets a CAT scan to evaluate this. So as you look at the CT scan that's performed in this patient, we can immediately see that there are numerous uh, cysts uh, throughout the liver. Some of them have peripheral calcifications. We can look at the kidneys, and there are numerous cysts in the kidneys. Some of them have high density. Those are presumably cysts with hemorrhagic and proteinaceous debris. And so this is a patient who has polycystic uh, kidney disease with uh, resulting cysts in the liver and kidneys. Uh, they didn't want to give intravenous contrast. They didn't want to give oral contrast as well. So I think that's what makes this case a little bit challenging. So the patient has right lower quadrant pain. As you scroll down, we can see that there is some abnormality in the right lower quadrant, certainly some inflammatory change right around there. And let's examine this a little bit closer. Almost looks like it's coming from the cecum, going upwards. We can see it right over there. It's a blind ending tubular structure. It's thick wall. There's an inflammatory change with right lower quadrant pain. You have to be worried about acute appendicitis because there's probably uh, an appendicolith as well associated with this over here. We look at this on the coronal CT, I think we can see some of the findings a little bit easier, certainly the liver cysts and uh, renal cysts. And if we scroll down and uh, focus on the cecum, this is the terminal ileum coming in over here, and this is the base of the appendix. Looks a little bit thick wall. There's some inflammatory change around it. And as we scroll through and as it goes up, again, thick walled inflammatory change, and going upwards, that appendicolith, that blind and tubular structure, thickened wall, inflammatory changes associated with this, uh, and some free fluid as well. And so these findings are compatible with acute appendicitis.